Hi, I'm going to guide you through the ways that you can use and slightly modify the digital CER activity. There are two different versions of the CER. In part one, the students have to come up with their own claim to a question. So here in the topic section, before you share with your students, you will want to write in the topic. For example, you might type in photosynthesis. And your question that you would want to present to the students could be, could animals survive without organisms that do photosynthesis? So here you have their question and your topic. Now with part one, you will want to type it not only on this slide, but again, before you share to your students, you will want to come down here and type it again here on these two. So topic photosynthesis and question Okay, something else that you'll want to do before you share with your students is decide how many activities are you going to have them do where they're going to be gathering evidence. For every activity, you will want one of these slides. So if you need more than one, simply click on the slide over on the side here. You'll want to copy it and then paste a new one. And you'll do this for all of them. You'll also want to decide how many reasonings you have. Um, again, this could go with how many activities you're going to do. So you might have just two activities or one activities. If you have more than one, once again, you're going to need to create more than these slides, more of these slides. So you'll go to copy again and paste. So you'll have multiple of those. So that's how you're going to set it up. For the ones that you're not going to use, the slides you're not going to use, for example, let's say that in this time you're doing the question one, which means you don't have to have part two. So that means that you can delete all of these part two slides. So that way when you share it with your students, you only have this one. And you can modify it every time you're going to do a CER with them. So that's how you can use the student edition and modify it slightly to meet your students' needs. Now over here in the teacher edition, and the teacher edition, again, is designed to, to have it being projected while their students are working on theirs. So you'll want to put in the topic again here, and the question, question was, could animals Okay. And you'll simply just project this as you're going, reminding them to write the title of their investigation as they're recording their evidences. And here you'll want to provide some sentence starters or language support for students that need it. Although I find that in most cases, especially in middle school, a lot of students do need this language support to help them write more um, academic type sentences, um, higher level sentences. So I have some for articles, if you're going to be using articles for your evidence, labs or investigations, whether they're hands on in the classroom or online, um, diagrams if they're using a model to gather their evidence from. And then the following slide is where they can put student examples. I always like my students to be talking while they're doing this. So you, for me, the way I would use this is I would have them be working in groups, talking about it, discussing, and then 
each group would have to give an example of what they came up with. And here you can either type in the box the example that the students give you, or if you have the means, for example, I have a smart board, so I can actually write on my smart board and, and uh, write in there, I would have the students then go up and use my little tool and write their sentence down themselves. This gives an opportunity for not only to have them work with their group and other people and talk and discuss their ideas, but also to get ideas of what other groups have come up with. I find that this allows them to have better evidence statements, better reasoning statements, and um, an overall better claim evidence reasoning altogether. So I have that for every single one, your claims, and also for your reasonings. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at christy at adventuresinistem.com. Thank you.